Hello, and welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance on Thy Father. In the previous episode, we left off um, just as we were on our way to Neuhof to um, to try and find Ginger. Uh, sorry, not to Neuhof, to... Uh, out of Neuhof to, uh, to find Ginger and to try and figure out how, who ordered the attack on, um, on the town. So uh, I think we'll have a quick dip in the trough. And uh, and then we'll be off back to Neuhof, and then I think we're going to try and find the stream that runs through the town, because that's more or less the way they told us to go, um, along the stream back into the direction of Ratai. Um, so we'll, we'll see if we can make a bit more progress in terms of finding that camp, because it, it did not happen for us last episode, and we don't have the markers on the map with us playing on hardcore mode. Let's see what we can do. Friend, come closer. I have an enticing offer for you. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Hey, lad, come here. Yeah, we do not trust this guy. Um, mercenary. Hey, okay. What's the matter? Wouldn't you like to measure your skills against mine? In combat, you mean? I fear there's nothing else I know, friend. Mm, who are you? Who are you, anyways? And what do you do? Merchants hire me for protection. That's all you need to know. Hmm. So... Shall we fight then? All right, then. All right. Why not? Finally. A taker. I hope you have coin, though. I think we'll beat this guy easy. Um, Can we get more? We can't. Okay, then let's accept. Right. I have. I'm glad to hear it. Let's get to it, then. We don't need a helmet to beat this guy. Yeah. Ha, good luck, mate. Bugger. Even with the debuffs, we'll do them. I'm over here. I know where you are. Ooh. All right, all right. You got me attention. Oh, why is that him finished? Oh well, here you are. Why well, is that all you had? <laughs> well, sure, we got fifty groschen. Back on the road then. Okay, we've uh, we've got back to Neuhof. Now um, we need to find the stream, and there is certainly a stream that runs through it, um, and it it must be it must be on the lower part of the the town. So let's see. Right then. Stay there, Pebbles. Feel free to drink out of any of these puddles, but uh, I 
something fancy here, like. You there with the uh, the strange gusset and the mustache. Good day to you. Yes, good day to you as well. I'm looking for Ginger. Have you seen Ginger around here? Who? A boy with ginger hair, a stable boy from Neuhof. No one from Neuhof's been here. Yeah, that's a lie. Good luck to you. You lying. Let's see. Who else can we speak to? We haven't had any breakfast today. Oh, we're still we're still fairly nourished. What did we have last night? We just wine and, and something I think. It wasn't anything massive. Yeah, good for you. Who are you? Um, spokesman. Okay, this is probably a good bloke to speak to. I need help in my search. Could you help me? Depends what you want, doesn't it? Don't be I'm difficult. Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined up with some charcoal burners he used to hang around with sometimes. Sorry, there's never been a lad called Ginger around here. You have to try somewhere else. Um, and that boy was witness to a murder. A murder's been committed at Neuhof, and that boy likely knows who did it. It's vital I find him. There's been murder aplenty in these parts of late, but that ginger lad really hasn't been here. There'll be a lot less murdering going on once I bring those bastards to justice, so how about helping me out? Calm oh, down, good. lad, for the love of God. There's been no one like the boy you want round here, but then again, there are other charcoal burners. Try them. You might want to hurry. You're not the first to be asking about him, and the others weren't exactly a noble-looking bunch. What? Although they were generous with their silver. They didn't happen to say what they wanted him for? No. What is but going on with my helmet? Why is it like filthy? Invite him to a feast. We need to get this shined. We need a... <laughs> we need a helmet polisher. Um, where else might he have gone? Do you have any idea where else he could have gone? You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well, you'll definitely find some in the forest between Neuhof and Ujets. I don't There's know where... spots around there. But that forest is huge. I could spend weeks searching. Then follow the river. That's how you found us, isn't it? Where there's charcoal burners, there's always water nearby. I don't know where Ujets is, though, but sure, I suppose you've been kind of helpful. All right, I'll go and ask somewhere else. May the Lord watch over you. It must be in the opposite direction. Oh, at least it's given us a zone now. Right, so we need to go back to Neuhof. We need to go past the stud farm and take the path in the opposite direction of Ratai. Um, and we should come to this camp here. When we get to this camp, we need to look along the river and we should find some charcoal burners camps and one of them will be this one and it's probably going to be right in front of us so that seems like a decent way to uh to try and find them all right then let's get to it Okay, so we're back to Neuhof. Let's uh, let's get to the stud farm. Yeah. Uh, no, we've got a shrine here. Let's see. The shrine's there. Uh, there's a path to the left of it, and that's the one we want to follow. So it's this path here. I'm coming for you, Ginger. Uh, okay, we've got a crossroads here. Um, it, it must be this. I guess. Um... Well, it's the first one we've come to, so surely that's... 
yeah, it's got to be this one because uh, there's a road going off in that direction, and that's this is the only crossroads where that's the case, other than this. Um, but we didn't pass this shrine, and we stuck to this road, I think. So I don't see how it could be that one. We should be on the right path. Um, let's see if we can see where this is. It doesn't really look like anywhere on that map. Hmm. We got no left turn. We've got a right turn and a straight ahead and a back, obviously. Um, I don't see where that is on the map. I hope we are in the right place. Well, I guess we're going to find out. Okay, we've got a house up there. I don't think that's meant to be there. Mm, I bet it's that. This must be it, surely. So... Yeah, and then this... I bet this is where we were then. Possibly. Let's let's go to that house and see, uh, see if it gives us a map marker. Oh, it's a tavern. Um, okay, a lodgings. Yeah, it is that. Okay. So we've taken the wrong turn somewhere. Um, but we uh, we might at least be able to find the river from here. Um, well, let's uh, let's have a little uh, let's have a bit lunch and uh, a little drink. All right, where's the uh, where's the innkeeper? He's, he's not over there, mate. I'll tell you that for now. Uh, could that be him? Andrew. You're a big fella, aren't you? Andrew. Oh. You there. Do you sell beer? And food? God be with you. What can I do for you? Yes, you too. Um, let's talk trade. Um, let's have a beer. And let's see. We get some drink and water. Oh, we'll have a bit of lentil mash, I think. Ah, right, go on. We'll give her a little tip since we've had a good day beating that fella and everything. This here, and uh, a little topper. My word. Thank you kindly. Nah, don't you mention it, sweetheart. Right, let's uh, let's enjoy our food. I guess it's probably still raining out there, so we'll enjoy it in here. And... Uh, what time is it? Oh, it's only it's only half ten. Okay, that's good. We've uh, we've got plenty of time then. Right, let's. Uh... Oh, the rain's cleared up. Oh no, it hasn't. Looked like it had for a minute. Any uh, any dice tables around here? Doesn't look like it. Not that it matters, we always get beat at it anyway. Is there a trough? I wonder if we can wash this helmet. Um, that one's not got any water in it, has it? No. Uh, that one might. Don't know how any of them haven't with all of this rain. Now, what do you people use to wash yourselves, you dirty bunch? What's that? Is that a pig? Oh, it is. Pigs. Hi, pigs. Enjoying the mud there? Well, it does not like they've got a trough, so I guess we'll just hit the road again. You what? 
Oh, she's heard about us giving a tip to this other woman and she wants one now. Oh. Hey, handsome. Come and have a word with me. Um, okay. Greetings. What do you need? I don't think you're going to be able to... Uh... Okay, then. Uh, what are you standing around here for? You waiting for someone? Not anymore, young man. I was waiting for you. You look like a clever sort of fellow, and chivalrous, too. You wouldn't leave a damsel in distress, would you? Well, I'm... Do you know of one somewhere? Oh, now, come on, Henry. Don't, don't be horrible. Don't be mean. I've got a job to offer you. There's an old granddad sitting in the alehouse there. Yesterday, he made use of my services, and he said he'd pay me in the morning. Only now he pretends he doesn't know me. I want you to take the groschen he owes me from his purse and bring them to me. I'm not going to steal. I'm not going to steal. Taking back what rightfully belongs to me ain't stealing. But if that's how you see it. I'll have a word with them. Goodbye. But I'm not... Uh... Look, I'm going to see if I can help you, but I'm not stealing. Let's... Goodbye. Look, if the only way to do this is stealing, then you're you fighting a losing battle, love. Um, my dad would be rolling in his grave if he knew I was running around stealing for old whores. Right, let's uh, let's get on the road then. Oh, what we got here? Who are you? Get out of here, you! Oh, well then. Is that you both done? Idiots. Why would you attack an armed man when you got no weapon? You. You done? You are now. May you rest in peace. See if they had anything useful. Bard portion. Okay. Hair of the dog. Hmm. Okay. Moonshine, sure. Uh, yep, we'll have your torch. And we'll have your wine. He had... Yeah, we'll have his crack... Oh, he had fine wine, this one. Spirits, lovely. Uh, unknown portion. Well, it's always tempting. Um, I mean, the clothes might be nice, but I don't know if I really fancy uh, wearing bandits' clothes. Um, well, let's uh, let's get them out of the road. We'll stick them over there in the bushes, and then we'll be on our way. Aha, we've found the river. And it looks like we may have found a... Yep, we found some chalk. Are they charcoal burners? Maybe lumberers. Either way, we'll have a word with them. Doesn't look a lot like the other charcoal burner camp, but it looks like they are burning stuff. So, sure. Let's see. Let's see if we can find a spokesman like the last time. You. Who are you? Oh, lovely. Bit of serendipity there. I'm looking for Ginger. I'm looking for Ginger. A stable boy from Neuhof. Then why don't you look for him at the stud farm? He was there, but now they say he's hiding amongst some charcoal burners. And where did you hear that? Anyhow, there's no one of that description here. Try asking somewhere else. 
I'm trying to find the perpetrators who are obstructing me. Look, a terrible crime's been committed at Neuhof, and Sir Radzig wants the culprits found. And here you are making it harder for me. Well, if you've been sent by Sir Radzig, you can deal with those two criminals who've been lurking around asking about the same boy. Oh, I'd love to. Do you to. know where they are? They won't be far, but I don't know where exactly. From here they headed south, so maybe try there. There are plenty of good hiding places around. So you're saying I should find them and kill them? Just see to it, they can't cause any trouble here. And then I'll tell you everything I know. I don't know where they are. But I don't know where to look for them. They're always wandering about here. Their hideout must be somewhere nearby. They came here from the east across the bridge, threw their weight around, and then went back the same way. And I know of only one place in that direction. What place is that? There was a camp between here and the charcoal burners in the east. They're most likely there. We'll lead you. Yeah, okay then. That's fair. I'll look for them. The words of a true man. Once you take care of them, come back and we'll talk. Take care now. Uh, didn't you say you would lead us? Dude. Okay, well I guess we're on our own. Um, no, we'll make sure that these uh, these brigands don't come and mess with your stuff. I know how annoying that can be. So, um, he said they came east, across the bridge. So the camp must be up there somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. something here a grave it looks like oh no I don't know if we want to start digging no it would be uh, be most improper let's uh, let's let the dead rest This must be the path that leads up there. I'm going to guess this is uh, roughly where the camp is. Let's leave the horse uh, somewhat out of view. We don't want to get this stolen. And we'll continue on foot. Uh, I don't think we want to just waltz right in either. Let's uh, let's see if we can sneak a little bit. We're we're not going to be very stealthy. I, again, I just want to make sure that we know where they are before they see us. Although with all of these trees, maybe it's maybe it's not strictly necessary at this point. We'll just have to make sure that we keep our eyes open. that be it Let's see if we can get a look yeah they look like bandits to me what's going on 
Oh. Where is he? Sounds like there's at least two of them. Wonder if we can get them with a boar. We haven't got the boar anymore. Oh, we haven't got it. It must be on the horse. Well, let's just do them. I don't think they're going to be that tough. Who's there? Justice. It's the long arm of the law here, my friends. Is someone there? Are you not? Oh, they're not hostile. Suspicious man at arms. What? Greetings, my good man. Probably May I ask you a good question? thing we ask didn't. First, then I'll ask you something. Really? Good then. We're looking for Ginger. He's a big bloke, isn't he? A nearby stud farm. Have you seen him anywhere? What a nice coincidence! I'm also looking for him. I was just about to ask you two the same thing. I'm looking for him too. Then it's a pity neither of us have found him yet. Isn't it? Thank heavens I've found you though. I imagine you two might be able to tell me something about Neuhoff. Hmm? I see. Well, we can give you a little demonstration of what happened there. Oh, he's gone. Mm. Oh. Where's the other one gone? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh. Yes, got him. Slash. Oh, that's one down. Okay. Now it's just you with your little trungeon. Ah. Ha, ah, you're not so tough now without your friend, are you? Oof. Okay. Bring it. He's pretty good to that access guy. Let's faint him. <laughs> All right then. It didn't work. Oh, he's just countering us all day, isn't he? Curse it! Ah! Oh, is he stronger than me? Is he? Oh, yes, he is. Come on, then. You're dead. He's all about the counter strike in this guy. Yeah, but you missed that one, didn't you? Oh. Oh, yikes. Gah, got him. Oh, well, that wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Let's get rid of him. And the other one. Is he still alive? Where is he? Where's he gone? He hasn't run away, has he? Oh no, there he is. Yeah, he's dead. I uh, quite like his hood, though. We'll have that. Yeah, we'll have your apples. We'll have your black and white hood. Uh, that looks like it's worth something, actually. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll have your groshen. Um, They're worth something. Yes, definitely take that. Yep. Uh, you can keep your torch, you've got plenty. Oh, hold on. Oh. Is that one... Is that one better than ours? It's still not... we got a decent sword here. That's agility. And ours is strength. And I, I kind of think we might want to go for agility. I quite like the movement and everything. And I'm not too keen on using a shield. Doesn't really fit with the whole knight thing, I guess. But well, you can be a you can be a knight without a shield. Um, stab damage and slash damage. 
yeah, we, we beat that um, in every way, but it'll be good to sell anyway. The other one. Let's see. Uh, Vardishi? Yeah, it's not worth much, is it? Let's uh, Let's just get rid of that. Um, no, not interested in any of that. Arrows... Uh, I guess you can never really have too many arrows. Yep, uh, yep, we'll have that, we'll have that. I quite liked your helmet as well, so yes, armourer's kit will take. Working boots you can keep. Let's see. Oh, unfortunately, it actually gives less protection than uh, the one that we're wearing. But I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll just stick with the one we've got for now. At least that one looked clean, though. Ironically, considering it was a bandit's little dirty helmet. Um, right. Okay. Well, again, lockpick. Yeah, we don't have a lockpick. I wish. It wouldn't let you. It wouldn't make you lockpick stuff um, when you're not trying to play a thief. Like if one of them bandits had the key, maybe that would make sense. Like why would why would neither of them have a key to their own chest? Um, but I think we are going to have to start carrying lockpicks specifically for situations like that. Actually, this uh, that's okay. That if we got it repaired, we'll take that. And your gloves and all. See, we can whistle from the horse from here. Oh, we can, sounds like. Oh, there he is. Where are you, Pebbles? Hey, me. It's a shock there. There isn't a key knocking about here anywhere, is there? I mean, it, it would just make sense if they had a key to their own chest. But uh, I suppose we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to just get lockpicks then. Um... We passed somebody not long ago who was selling lockpicks. I think it might have been that lady at the uh, at the inn. Let's uh, let's just go back there and see if she's got a lockpick because I, I really don't want to leave that chest. We're, we're going to need to get better gear pretty soon, so we need the loot. Let's uh, let's go back to the inn and see if we can get a, a lockpick off her. Whoa! What is going on around here? Huh? Well, I mean... Whoa! That's worth a lot. That must be better than the one we've got. We can't really use it, like, but... Damage-wise and everything, it really isn't. We'll have to see what the comparison is, but it's worth a lot of money. Um, and that is better than the one we've got, I think. Yeah, by quite a bit, and it looks a little bit better too. So let's go ahead and wear that. Cheap wine. Yeah, I mean, sure, we'll take that. We'll take your groschen. Uh, not bothered about your gloves. Yes, please. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Sure, we'll take them. Well, that's definitely better than the, well. It's it it's not better in terms of what it does, but it's it's certainly better in terms of what it looks like. So let's uh, yeah, let's get that. Um, the meal coif we've got is better than that, so we'll keep that on. But we will swap to the plate quarters. We're starting to look like a soldier now. There's another guy down there. What on earth has happened here? It's not a trap, is it? Right, let's move some of this stuff to the horse. Alright, now let's go and see what this guy's got, if he's got anything. And look for some other bodies around here. Somebody's been busy around here, haven't they? Oh, he's got some gear as well.
God. Huh? Well, I mean, he can't use this stuff. It's not like we're stealing. Um. Yep, yep, yep. Kuttenberg Gumbleson. Um. I think the one we've just picked up is better than that. Let's just see. Oh, it's not. Up here. Uh, yep, yeah, I guess we'll take that to sell that. Well, we can sell it. Yep. Yeah. Sure. Definitely. I'd really like to know what on earth has been going on around here. I'm just going to have a little look around and see if we've got any more bodies. Okay, no other bodies as far as I can see, but this guy um, actually has a lockpick on him. So that's awfully handy. Um, I don't think we need anything else off him. Let's, uh, what time is it? Yeah, two o'clock. Um, right, let's, uh, we, we need to sell some gear. I think what we're going to do is, uh, oh, we can't, we can't get up there. Okay. Well, where can we get up while we're overloaded? Oh, there's, there's another, yes, there is another body. <laughs> what is going on? This place is a gold mine. Oh, he's got, like, chain mail and stuff, this guy. Yep. 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 Another lockpick. Oh, we are going to be loaded. I have never looked into such a... Why are they so expensive? Sure. These Are these Tomberg guards? We're definitely taking that. That looks pretty good. Yes, we'll definitely have them. I take his bandage as well and the dried meat. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's everything. I mean, I've never looked into such a crazy amount of loot in this game. What he's got a sword there? Coxcomb. Oh, I'm not. Why is that stealing? It's a pretty good sword, though. There's no reason for that to be stealing, um, other than the game just... Yeah, they are Tomberg guards. I'm not that bothered about it. How much is the shield worth? Yeah, it's not really worth enough. So let's, let's just drop it. We'll stick that on, though. Lovely. And that's the best Gamberson we got now as well, so let's put that on. We, uh, we will have them as well, but they're going to need to be repaired. I don't. I really don't like that coin. It looks horrible, but uh, we'll see if we can get a better one. Okay, then. Um, I think we need to. I think we need to head back to Ratai. Let's just make sure that there's no other bodies because I didn't see him before. I'm gonna have to load some of this gear on the horse again, though, if we can even get it on. Okay, then. Um, so we're we're now back to a reasonable weight. Um, I wonder why there's Tomberg guards through here, and uh, and a bandit. And did that one bandit kill both of them guards, or or what? Right, I don't know exactly what we're going to be able to sell, because it randomly decided that some of them were um, stolen, and some of them were just taken. But we do have a lockpick now, so let's go back to that chest. Okay, here we are. Now... Let's just see if we can actually get this unlocked. We do have two lockpicks, so we should have a good shot. But this is easy, not very easy, so let's see. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. We're getting good at that. Right, let's open. Um, wow. Really? Why is there a cobweb? What is that useful for? Oh, you can put it in portions. Okay, then. And why would we need them? <laughs> yeah, such as in the uh, in the superhero culture. Can we just wear underpants? Let's... 
Let's get the bandages as well. You never have too many of them. We don't need the skins, I don't think. Let's just see if we can wear underpants. Okay, we can. And then if we take all of our gear off... Yeah, we still can't see the underpants we're wearing, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know why I wanted to, but I just kind of did. Never mind. Oh, they go over where our trousers would be. Well, why? What's the point of that, then? I don't know. Right, well, um... I think... It's, uh, it's getting on a little bit. It's about 3 o'clock. We, we need to sell some of this stuff because we're going to be overloaded and I don't want to lose any of it. So we're going to have to go back to Ratai. Um, it's not too far from here, I don't think. If I can remember the way from the inn. And uh, we'll, we'll get back to the uh, that kind of out-of-the-way tavern and spend the night there if we can before it gets dark. If not, we'll just spend the night in that one just outside of uh, Ratai. But uh, we definitely need to sell some of this stuff now because we've got loads. So we'll head back there um, and then we'll come back and we'll tell the charcoal burners that the um, the delinquents have been dealt with. Okay, it's five o'clock. Um, I don't know if we're going to have time to catch the shops. I certainly hope so. I don't know what time they close. Let's uh, let's put the uh, let's put the pedal down a little bit and see if we can catch the blacksmith at least. Oh, he's still there. Good. Good health, dear. Let's talk trade. Oh, all the gear's on the horse. Oh, dear me. How are Pebbles? You needed. I hope they don't mind us taking the horse through the city. Well, nobody seems to care. Uh, blacksmith, I brought a horse in. I suppose I'd have to bring the meat to get shoed and that, wouldn't I? Um, right. Well, let's see what we can sell them out of the stuff we've got on us. If we've got anything on us. We can sell him the silver ring, not for very much, but we might as well just sell him it. He wants to give us 53 for it. Let's see if we can get at least 60. Finally, a reasonable sum. Yeah, he took it for 60, right? That'll do. Let's get the rest of the gear off the horse then. Way for all of these swords, he thinks we're going to take 148. He must be joking. He must be joking. Let's see if we can get him to go a bit higher than that. I want at least 300 for the lot of them. No. What a rip-off. Hold on. Let's go to the bathhouse and get a wash first. I think he's having a I think he's having a laugh with us because he thinks we're dirty. Are you? God preserve you, good knight. Oh. Can I do something for you? Do you that? She called us a knight. Uh I'd like to use the bathhouse. What do you sell? Ah. Hmm. What happened to all them bards portions and that we had? Let's find out. 
Yeah, I'd like to use the bathhouse services, please. I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. So, what are you interested in? Um. Oh, you can get a haircut. Well, we have to look at that then. This is new. Um. Well, it doesn't show you a preview of them. Let's try the battlefield perm. Oh, no, no, thank you. Uh, no deal. Let's go Polish undercut then. Oh, that's terrible. No, uh, no deal. Eastern influence. That one's not too bad. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, sure. Well, let's go with that one. I'd like that. Thank you. But of course, money first, though. Um. Yeah, go on. We'll give her twenty quid for that. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. May the Lord watch over. Brilliant. And can we get a um? Did, can we get a shave as well? Your, I wonder if we can get beards. Services. And what is it you'd like? Oh, we can get a, we can get a beard now. Yeah, go on. I think that looks quite manly. I'd like that. Thank you. As you wish. Do you have the coin? Yeah, sure. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Take care. Brilliant. Wow, I haven't played this game since it was um since it first came out and this was not something you could do back then. I'm That's interested brilliant. In your uh, services. So what are you interested in? Yeah, let's uh, let's have a wash. Um Yeah, full service will do. I've uh, heard you have nice girls here. But of course, money first though. How much does this cost? At forty. Go on, and you've been good to us. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. God bless. <gasps> oh. Oh. See, that's what that new haircut and beard will do for you. Well. That and 40 groschen anyway. Thank you very much, Bathmead. Feel like a new man. Um Oh, we can sleep here. Well go on then, we'll spend the night at the bathhouse, why not? They've got some friendly lasses here. Although I think at a certain point you, you do get classed as trespassing here. Um, let's get our gear off, and we'll just go and sleep at the mill then. Thank you very much, love. I agree. Um, what have you just done with me horse? Oh, he's up there, right, okay. Well... We're we'll back to the mill then. Hey there, Teresa. What do you think of me new haircut? That's it, will you? I can. And what happens if I talk to you like this then? Oh, we can. Greetings, Henry. It's a bit weird though. <laughs> oh, uh, sure. I brought you something. I brought you something. Uh, sure. Um, thank you, but I'm not quite sure what to do with it. Well, it, no, but it's just... Well, if, if something bad happens... Yeah, again, see? It could come in handy. For the Cumans. I see. Well, that's a kind thought, but I'm not sure it would do much good against those three big men. What are you, love? It's better than now, so you pipe down. Um, how have you been? So 
So, uh, Hold on. Wait, let's... I can't stop oh. thinking about Scarlet. I don't like this camera angle. No. It was hell. But life has to go on. Why not clear your head and try to forget about it? At least for now. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? Oh. That's not a bad No, idea. I didn't want to do that now. It's really... It's too late now. Yes. But if you pick me up during the day, I'll be glad to take a walk with you. As her ladyship commands? You jester. Sure, right. Let's end that dialogue because... Um, it's... That's a ridiculous camera angle. Now... There we go. Now we can see my new haircut and that. I don't know about the beard, but I think... Yeah, it's okay. Um, I'd like to know... I'd like to know... How do you like it here? So, how do you like it in Ratai? It's a big town with good strong walls, so I suppose we're safe here. And they took us in in our hour of need, but how much longer? They'll grow tired of us soon enough. Yeah, probably. Well, that'll do. I need to go to bed anyway. Um, still on the job, really. That's all. See you around, Teresa. Do I owe you money, Miller? Um, I don't know if I paid it all off with the chemist or what, but... Yes, I've got enough coin to pay you back. I've got the money to pay that debt. And I was afraid you had a chamber pot for a head. Hand it over. That job's still going, if you're interested. No, thank you. I'm not interested. Um, how much did I pay him, though? Yeah, the thing you wanted, I don't want to do it. That job you wanted me to do, I won't do it. I pay both you and the apothecary, so we're even. You're an ungrateful pup, aren't you? No. Well, suit yourself. If you ever need anything, you know where not to go. Farewell. Take care now. Well, you... Tell you what, then. Sorry, Teresa, I'm not welcome here. I'm going to go and stay at the inn. I'll uh, I'll come back and have a walk with you sometime. But he's, he's beyond a joke, that man. Um, I've paid him back, I've paid the chemist, so, I don't know what he wants from us, but, uh, well, to hell with him. Right, we're going to the inn then, I wear pebbles. Yeah. Blummin' Miller. Thinks he can take us for a ride the whole time, just because he was the first one to scoop us up after I got knocked out. Well, I've done me bit. He's been paid back. Um, where's the innkeeper? He's not outside. Oh, is he? Is that him at the dice table? Might be. No, townsman. Uh, oh, there he is. He is there. Innkeeper, don't you walk away from me. I'm trying to buy a room here. Well, why'd he give us the option to tackle I'm him? I'm honoured that you should come to me. Well, thank you. See, these people now appreciate me. Um, we will we will try and help some people, but we, we're on urgent work at the minute, so let's just get a bed. Can I sleep here? All right. For how long? Just a night. We're, we're busy. Just the one night? No problem. But you pay in advance. I right, go on. You, uh... That's quite a lot. No, we're, we're going to we tip him. The price. We're going to tip him because he was friendly. Um, go on, have two point three. You'll like it here, like sleeping on a cloud. It is. What you don't appreciate it? Take care. <laughs> Last time we tipped him, he didn't even say thank you. No manners, these people. Right. Okay, then we'll go for a kip. Um. Certainly. I'll is, fetch it right away. Is there a reason? You, you're up here? Are they just trying to get shelter from the rain or what? Is this my room? I'm, I'm going to assume this is my room. Yes, it is. Okay, right. Well, we'll, we'll close the door. Have a bit of privacy. Okay, then. We'll, uh, we'll have a kick. Okay, we need to uh, go and sell our gear before this uh, these buffs wear off. And um, let's just see exactly what these buffs do, actually, before we do that. Okay, so the alpha male gives us plus two, and freshly shorn gives us plus one. So that should give us some better prices, I think. Oh, what does the debuff for the morning do, though? Is that all stats? Oh, we can get a hunting um, 
I guess we'll we'll get the antlers then. Yeah, it decreases our speech by two. Hopefully we can wait for this to wear off and we'll still have these buffs. Um, because we that just negates the fact that we've got them them two buffs. We've got a point to put on our sword as well. Let's see. Yes, I like the long sword. We'll get uh, Zornaut Wrath Strike with the, a rapid Zornhow from the Ox Stance. Parry the opponent's strike to the side from your left shoulder and thrust the point straight into his chest. Sounds like something I'd like to do. Slash slash stab. Okay, lovely. We've also got something to put on Vitality. Yes, we'll get Thick-Blooded. And we've got a point for Strength as well. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get Clinch Master. And we've also got two main level perks. I've, I've completely neglected these. I'm still not really seeing um, anything that I'd like to get here, so I guess we'll save them. Okay, well, um, we're still fairly nourished, but let's just have a bit of breakfast, and uh, then we'll go and see the blacksmith. Let's see what if the innkeeper's even up. He, he, so, he likes to sleep late, this innkeeper. Yeah, he's not up. Well, we'll uh, we'll go to the one in um, in Ratai because it's just over the road from the smithy anyway. Um, and maybe we want to speak to the swordsmith as well because that blacksmith gave us some horrible prices. So uh, let's see. Right, we arrived at the inn. Left Pebbles uh, under a shelter in the back street there because there's not really any way to get him in here, and it doesn't look like this inn keeps us up yet either. Um, I wonder if we can get in there then. No, it's locked. Oh, there's the alehouse maid. She might have some food for us. If she's uh, if she's willing to sell it yet. Hi, love. God grant you health. How may I help you? Oh, she doesn't. Okay, then. Take care. Well. I wonder if we can put that, that black hood we got, I wonder if we can put that on and wear it the way he was wearing it with the hood up, because that would make sense in the rain. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can wear it up, which is a shame. But I forgot we had this hat, so let's, let's have that then. There we go, that'll give us some protection, and then we'll stick that on and all. But we do, that does need a what? Never mind, it's got blood all over it. Okay, then since everyone in this town is lazy, we'll, um, we'll just have our breakfast under this shelter here. Uh, we don't have a lot to choose from. I guess we'll have the pretzel and we'll have some dried meat. There we go, lovely. Um, and I think by the time we get over to the smithy now, that buff, that debuff will have worn off and we do still have our charisma buffs. So that's good news. So let's go and see if he'll give us a better price now. Oh, why are Knight and Gil? Oh, we can't talk to him. I think we want to stop by the tailor first, actually, because uh, a lot of our stuff needs uh, stitching up. And that might affect our charisma as well. We got plenty of time on these buffs, so we'll go and save the see if we can find the tailor. Ah, here we go, tailor. Right. Um, there you go, Pebbles. You you sit under this arch, um, out the way of the rain, which apparently never stops in Bohemia. Um, and we'll go and see the tailor. He better not ask a ridiculous price though, because we know what they're like. Oh come on! What time is it? It's 8 o'clock, why are they not open? Is it 9 o'clock they open or...? Uh, lazy gets a lot of them. Well, I don't think we've got a choice then. We'll just wait here for it to open in an hour. Right, let's see if we can get in there now. What? Oi! 
How lazy are these people? Seriously. Let's just have a look. Right, there doesn't seem to be anywhere in the codex which will tell us um, what time the shop's open. Uh, but it's got to be 9 o'clock, hasn't it? Is that just taking a while to update? Oh, the stalls are, the stalls are open now. Okay. That any of them. Noisy bunch. He's still closed. Tell you what. Okay, the armour is open. So where's the tailor then? He's still not up. Lazy. I wonder if the armour can fix our stuff. I'm not giving me money to him if he can't even... Is he... Are you the tailor? Oh, look, you've finally decided to come to work, have you? Oh, where you been? Out with your merry men in Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood, eh? Dear me. Sort of... What sort of a shock do you call this? Oh, and he shuts the door in your face now as well. I can't blame him. I did give him a bit of a hard time. Let's... Taylor. Um... Do you plan on... Do you plan on opening up at any point? Do you know what? I'm just going to the armour. Hello, armourer. You're, um... Your neighbour's a bit of a, a layabout, isn't he? Good day to you. What do you need? You too. Um, let's talk about repairs. May the Lord watch over you. Ah, he can't. He can't repair our clothes. He can repair our hat, though. How much does he want for it? Actually, let's select all. Whoa! You must be having a giraffe. You can. Bugger off and all. I'll go see the tailor, lazy bugger. Your wife's crap at singing, by the way. Oh, come on. Right, never mind. We're going to go and see the swordsmith, see if he wants to buy any of this stuff. I can't believe the prices these people want. I mean, it's it's probably got something to do with hardcore mode. It did say that traders will ask for more and give less, so... I mean, sure. We'll, uh... We'll see what the swordsmith's got for us. You. Swordsmith. Jesus Christ be praised. Uh, c can you repair stuff? Uh, what can you repair? Never mind the repairs. Then let's uh, let's talk trade. Well, he'll give us a bit of a better price than the blacksmith, but not by much. Well, uh, do you know what? I think that's the best we're going to get, unfortunately. Um, I, I kind of this coxcomb sword. I kind of do want instead of the saving grace, but. It's not that much better, and it's worth a lot more. Even though he's not willing to give us a lot more for it, but never mind. We'll haggle and see what we can do. At least two hundred, please. I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. Well, two twenty. Since it's you. Oh, he's already. You're a right pinch purse. You're a right pinch purse. 185. Go on then, 185. Well, that's a decent price. You're a bloody robber. It's not a decent price. 185 for all them swords. Should be ashamed of yourself. Good day to you. Right, we got a lot of armour to sell as well. How much money have we got? 355. It's, it's it's mounting up, but we we've got a lot of stuff to sell still. Let's uh, let's go see what the armor will give us for the uh, the bits of armor we've got. Maybe it'll be enough for him to repair our shoe or something. Hey and me. All right, armor. I've got a big bag of armor here for you. Okay, for all of this, 657. Now we're talking. Now we're talking armor. You're speaking my language. Right. Let's see. If we can get a bit more out of him because he's a little skank. He is. I'd like to discuss the price. Sure. Why not? 
Let's, uh, let's see if we can get 800. Is this enough? It's not worth it to me. Okay. 710. Let's see a 780. Since it's you. A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. Okay. 750 then. Let's see a 750, yeah? Aye. For that amount, I can be persuaded. Good lad. It's because we've got the same, we've got similar hats. Um, we we understand each other. Why are we still overloaded? Uh, it's probably because we got the hood and we got a few bits and pieces. Obviously, we've got the hat back and everything. Right. Um, let's see if we can get our gear repaired. Then it's going to cost us a bomb, but never mind. Um, these are in the most. Uh, Two hundred twenty-seven. We're going to have to haggle with them. One eighty. What do you say to this? That's not enough. You're not enough. 195 then. All right. And now? Come now. Just a little more and we have a deal. Go on and 200. See now. I knew we'd come to an agreement. Good lad. Okay. Right, so that's our gloves. Done. That was just the gloves. Right, let's spend all of this money that we just got off and repairing our stuff then. Okay, maybe we can get them for 220. It's not as bad as I thought for everything. The gloves must have been in terrible shape. Finally, a reasonable sum. Yeah, I bet you're doing well, aren't you? Um, right. Well, at least the stuff's starting to look shiny now. I wonder if we can get a better, uh, better coif from them. So, uh, the one we've got at the minute is this horrible looking thing. Um, and it's 11 armor. So let's see if we can get one for 11 or more armor for a decent price and looks a bit better than that. God, the only one he's got with the same armor written is the one we've already got. That's a shame. Well, um, let's, let, we've got some other stuff to sell. I think we need to go to the general traders now. Oh, look, the tailor's finally open. Well, it's nice of you. Who are you? Trader. Where's Robin Hood? Shop guard. Right, can you can you repair stuff? Greetings. What do you need? You can't. Well. Oh, but she's got some decent stuff, it looks like. Um Okay, we're gonna buy a fancy shirt, green out of vest, and Saxon dyed gambeson, get rid of the black and white hood and the Sleason dyed gambeson, and we're gonna see if we can do it for five hundred. Satisfied? You're a right pinch person. You're a right pinch person. A lot of you are. Five fifty then. Satisfied? Well, a little more, and we'll call it a deal. Ah, uh, go on, five eighty. Very well, I agree. So we got hundred and five left. We got some bits and pieces to sell still. Let's get our let's get our clothes on. Hey, we're looking pretty sharp now. Um, I, I don't know about that shirt, like, but never mind. It looks okay. Um, and I don't think we need the hat because it's not raining anymore. Let's uh, let's speak to him about repairs, but I've got a feeling he's going to be extortionate. Good health to you. Um. Yeah. Lord, watch over you. Sure. Hundred and twenty-eight. Right. I'm gonna have to go and sell some gear. If you stay open long enough, I'll come back and you can uh, you can repair me stuff. Okay, general merchant. Just need to stock up on supplies. That's all for today. Come again, oh, sorry, I jumped the queue. Who are you, townsman? General trader. Okay, five bandages, boar hide, and uh, communion chalice for 47.2. Sure. I'd like to discuss the price. Okay, we got it for 52. That'll do. Um, how much have we got left? We got 157. That should be enough to get our gear repaired at least. Um, and then we really do need to go back and find Ginger because uh, the trail's going to be getting cold. I'm finished. This is going nowhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, this tailor. Uh, I don't know how you deal with him all the time, love. 
Fine, I'll go to the cobbler then. I'll go to the cobbler and he'll repair it for, for less than you. You waste of space, can't even get out of bed and then gives us a crappy price. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Yeah, me too. Now, can you do clothes? Because I've had a fallen out with the tailor. <sighs> Boots. Never mind. I, uh, I'm i finished with that tailor. We just have knacked stuff until we get to a town that's got a decent tailor. Because uh, clearly this one has not. So, um, I think it's time now for us to get back over to the charcoal burners and uh, we're going to need our armour. Right, we'll, uh, we'll head back to the charcoal burners then and we'll see what we can do about finding this annoying ginger mug. Right, you. You're the spokesman, aren't you, there, in the in the beige? Yeah. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Yes, I've dealt with that pair of brigands. I've taken care of those two cutthroats. You don't look like you've been in a fight. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. All right, all right. All that matters is they've been taken care of. They're dead. So, what was it you wanted to tell me? Ginger was here. But the lads hid him away somewhere. I suppose there's no need for that anymore. He's in no danger now, is he? And nor are we. That's right. You're safe now. All right. They're hiding him nearby. A little way along the route to Ujits, there's a path to the right leading to a spring. From there, you'll find an overgrown trail to a ruined hut. Finally, some useful information. Thank you, Charcoal Burner. God be with you. Oh, we are looking shiny now, aren't we? I love the way that armor looked. Uh, what time is it now? 12 o'clock. All that time we wasted because of that blooming tailor. Right. Um, so the path to Ujit. I mean, I still don't know where Ujit is. And everyone keeps telling us the path to Ujit. And there's no signposts or anything. Ah, uh, okay. So it's it's in these woods. Um, now, that's the inn. We came down here. So we're here. So we literally just need to go up this path. And then to the right. Um... It doesn't seem to be really anything that will tell us when we're in the right spot. But if uh, if we just get round this bend, right on the edge of the bend, and then go into the woods, we should have a decent chance of finding it. And it might be on the crosshair by then. So let's see. I think this might be too far. Uh, oh, we passed this accident here. Um, so, if we go into the woods diagonally from where that accident is, we should find them. Right, so here's the accident. We need to go up that way, it looks like. Um, not really the best path for a horse. Um, but we might need it if we need to chase them or something. Um... He did say there was a spring, though, didn't he? And I'm not seeing any spring. Sorry, Pebbles. I hope you're not getting whipped in the face by all of this stuff. It's got to be up this way somewhere. Oh, what's that? That looks like a camp of some kind. Yep, yeah, he's on the crosshair now as well. Okay, again, we're not really going to be able to sneak um, in this stuff, but let's just see what we can see. Um, I don't see anyone around here. 
Let's just check behind it. No. Doesn't look like there's anyone. Um Right. Now we did promise the um We did promise the stable hand that we would hear him out. There he is. Hello, Ginger. Comfortable? It's... Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Let's start with why you ran. Why did you run off in such a hurry? Because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. So where, where are the rest of them? I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognised one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognised? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. Okay, tell us about the limp and one then. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Okay, so tell us how your hoof pick ended up in that bandit then. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits and he has a limp. He limps and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talked to him. Alright then, tell us your story then. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Well, um, I've got time. Don't worry, I won't get bored. Alright. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. I went out into the dark, same as usual, only only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I, I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started and flames everywhere. Oh, it was terrible, like hell itself. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. And he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the other. So I, I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then, then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. And what about the others then? What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. Th there might have been maybe eight of them, and two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they were arguing about? Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. Well, I know how you feel about the, uh, the carnage. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still, 
There was nothing you could do. Right. Go back to Neuhoff and... That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. Look, man, I believe you. Um, and then... I know how you feel, so I'll uh, I'll speak to them. I could go and ask them if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats. Well, I hope you stay safe here until uh, until we can get back to Neuhoff. So we'll um, we'll go find our way back to uh, to Neuhoff then. What do you mean, got him? Your money or your life. Bring it. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oof. Okay. Yeah, but. Oh. I'm weak at the knees. Shit. Okay. Okay. One down. You call that combat. Oh crap. Ah. You go. We got like no stamina left. Oh. There's one at the side of us. Ah. Nah, we're bleeding. We're bleeding. We need to run. Oh. Apparently we're overloaded as well. Um, right. We can't do anything about it. Um. Horse. We need the horse. And quick. Oh. Oh, goodness me. Wow. Right, after all that, it was a blooming beggar that got us. Let's just see if we can get away. Are we away from them? I think we're still in combat. We need a bandage and quick. They can't be still after us now. No, I think we're okay. We need a bandage. Yes, please apply the bandage. Um. Right, and the marigold decoction. Oh. Well. That was uh, pretty intense. And all of that stuff we just got repaired. I bet it's knackered now. It's not doing great. Okay. Well. I'm tempted to go back, but... Never mind. We can't deal with three of them at once. We're going to have to just get back to, uh, to Neuhoff. Wherever it is now. Oh, it's at the end there. Okay, then we know roughly where it is. All right, let's uh, let's get our raggedy ass back to uh, Neuhoff. Then we were so shiny a minute ago. Yeah. 
Oh, is that uh, is that cape on source? No, scal that's scallop colours. Uh, it's Rad's AK here then. Oh, he is. Oh, we're gonna get wrong. We're gonna get wrong because we were late. Um, that's he hasn't seen us. He doesn't know it's me. I've got my helmet on. We'll just go and quickly ask them about Ginger in case it doesn't give us the chance to do it again. Oh. Um. Hold on. Who do we need to ask? Oh, it's her. She must be the lady of the uh, the farm now. Good afternoon. Oh, I can buy a horse. Um, will you take Ginger back? I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognised him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. But why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now we're supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him and kill one of my daughters in the process? The cutthroats who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. Um. Well... Let's come to an agreement. I understand your concerns, but you just need to ask Sir Hamish to leave you a guard. Those bandits might be willing to take on a few stable boys, but not an armed soldier. i definitely feel better if someone was here a few days to keep watch. It can be arranged. I'm sure Sir Bernard won't object. Good then. Let the lad come back again. May the Lord watch over you. Okay, brilliant. Um, so we sorted that out from... I don't know if we need to speak to Radzig, but I, f I feel a bit ignorant just walking past him all the time. All right, dog, man, you know who I am. I've been here a million times. Hello. Greetings. What business have you? Got another lead. My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Um, well, he's a busy man. Uh, we'll keep it brief. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable boy who fled in fear of his life, and for good reason, too. He put me on the trail of a crofter from Ujit with a limp. And his name? The boy didn't know him by name, only by sight. But if I ask around, I'm sure folk will know who limps and keeps peculiar company. Villagers like to gossip. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kuttenberg. If I don't find him in Ujits, I'll ask around. Someone will know something about him. All right. Better go to Ujits then. Find this limping footpad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they did. I want to see them hang. Then bring him to me in Merhoyed and I'll decide on his fate. Certainly, sir. Take care now. Oh, thank you. Oh. I I didn't want to I didn't want to go over Bernard's head. Sorry Bernard, I did not realize that was what was going to happen. Jesus Christ be praised. Oh, he didn't seem too unhappy. Um yeah, well. Okay, well, it looks like once he gets back to Ratai, we may be able to get training from him now. Um so um I, to be honest, given the the length of this episode now, I think that is now going to have to be the end. So um well, the uh, the nearest inn is gonna be uh, is gonna be up the road. That one that we we keep staying at. So we'll uh, we'll keep the save of snaps for now. We'll go and rent a room at that inn. Yeah, we'll go and rent a room at that inn, um, and then we'll leave it there. Right, we'll just go and stick pebbles away in the stable.
And uh, we never did find out who the innkeeper was here, did we? Is it that Andrew? Is that him? Good day to you. Yes, it is him, right? Brilliant. Um, sure, a place to sleep. You got a bed for the night? Aye, there's room here. For how long? Just the one night, please. Just the one night. Sure. But let's see your coin first. These are harsh times. Sure. Here you are. You'll like it here. It's like sleeping on a cloud, it is. Uh, yeah, where is my bed? Where do I go to sleep? On the upper floor of the inn. There's steps up to it outside. Oh, this has Second got... Door. Okay. I didn't realise this had an upstairs. Um, and you don't have a trough here either, do you? Um, you're all mucky people. So I guess we're going to have to be dirty for now. Um... Yeah, I can't see one anywhere. Yeah, lovely. Okay then. Oh, it looks nice out there. We'll have a quick nap then. Right, that'll do it for episode 5 then. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks. Bye-bye now.